e. supra- and infralapsarianism. The doctrine of predestination has not always been presented in exactly the same form. Especially since the days of the Reformation two different conceptions of it gradually emerged, which were designated during the Armenian controversy as infra- and supralapsarianism. Already existing differences were more sharply defined, and more strongly accentuated as the results of the theological disputes of that day. According to Dr. Dick, the two views under consideration were in their original form simply a difference of opinion respecting the question, whether the fall of man was also included in the divine decree. Was the first sin of man, constituting his fall, predestinated, or was this merely the object of divine foreknowledge? In their original form supralapsarianism held the former, and infralapsarianism, the latter. In this sense of the word Calvin was clearly a supralapsarian. The later development of the difference between the two began with Beza, the successor of Calvin. At Geneva. In it the original point in dispute gradually retires into the background, and other differences are brought forward, some of which turn out to be mere differences of emphasis. Later infralapsarians, such as Rivet, Walias, Maastricht, Turretin, Amark, and Amor, all admit that the fall of man was included in the decree, and of the later supralapsarians, such as Beza, Gamarus, Peter Martyr, Zanchius, Ursinus, Perkins, Twiss, Trigland, Boetius, Berminus, Witsius, and Comrie. At least some are quite willing to admit that in the decree of reprobation God in some way took sin into consideration. We are concerned at present with supra- and infralapsarianism in their more developed form.